and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony from the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. Opening day, C-Web, which types of teams tend to begin the season hot? Well, the teams that return a lot of players, Kevin, you know, that have that familiarity in the squads with help on the side. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Bridges out there with Lowry Markinen. Then it's Holiday. Then there's Embiid. And it's Murray in at the one spot. And for Dallas, Oladipo is out there with Ricky Rubio. And it's Mark Gasol. Then there's Gordon. And it's Aldridge in at the power forward position. Now Rubio. Oladipo outside. Back to Rubio. Four on the shot clock. Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one. But he's got to live to be the first one, too. Murray against Gasol. Bobbed up there for Embiid. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And Embiid with the block. Awesome timing on the rejection. Embiid, the big fella. You don't want to bring it in around this guy. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Looking to build out their advantage even further. And it's Rubio penetrating. Embiid with the steal. And Bridges with a clear path to the basket. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And stolen by Murray. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. And he makes that one. Holiday's got seven points. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of it. And it's Houston's ball. This run now up to 13-2. Here's Embiid. He takes it in. It's good for his second make. The pass to Clarkson. Aldridge with it. And here's Gordon from outside, and he's good on the three ball. The kick out to Aldridge. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Dallas. And with the dunk contest in Aaron Gordon, some of the dunks he pulled off Greg were outstanding. I mean, going over Taco Fall was the big one. Uh, the one-handed windmill was impressive as well. Gordon doesn't need a trophy. Everyone knows he's one of the best dunkers we've ever seen. Now, here's Rubio. Following the miss by Obi Toppin. Hands it from downtown. Oh, great ball movement there. Rockets have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded closely. Five on the clock. Here's Henson. And nothing is falling for him right now. The Mavericks trailing. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg. Yeah, showing off the bunny. Timeout called the Rockets. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. But just wearing them out. I mean, when you space the floor like this, the defense has to run and expend energy. They've got Marc Gasol. Victor Oladipo is out there with Emmanuel Moutier. Then there's Jordan Clarkson, and it's Gafford in at the four-man position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. 
Moutier kicks to Oladipo. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Pass to Gasol. Back to Clarkson. Bridges with the steal. And now the fast break. Embiid with two. Oh, that was something else. <laughs> Uh, you know Embiid loves showing off his athleticism. This guy doesn't lack confidence. The pass to Moutier. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Yep, that one goes. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say, as a kid, you dream about a lot of things, winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed, is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. And that one is hammered home. Good to see a player going all out for the games this time. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Ah! Second chance opportunity so big in this instance. They have to feel fortunate that they could extend that play. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Dallas. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. They throw good Murray. So Murray nails both of them. Six on the shot clock. Aldridge with a screen on Murray. And Rudy throws it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Hey, hey, That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Larkin in a screen on Moutier from 12 feet out. And Markinen with the basket on the assist by Garland. Markinen's got his first two points of the night. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy, which can invite a lot of criticism. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Three-pointer, Markinen. Rebound collected by Clarkson. The Mavericks have gone 6-12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Hits it from three-point range. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Marking it into the lane. Oh, you love seeing Marking it take the initiative like this. When he sees these opportunities, he jumps on them. Dallas has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Markson with the ball. Inside, reverses, and the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got 11 points. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Passes it to Markinen. Outside Holiday, and Bede sets the pick for Holiday. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Houston shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And the Mavericks making a change here. Gasol's checked in. And a switch here also for Houston. Toppin, he's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Yeah. 
And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go from outside off the mark. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And Toppin throws it down. He gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. Dallas has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of them. Shot clock at six. Portis is screen on Hubbard. And the basket is good. Harkins got his second bucket of the night. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Mavericks lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Victor, you ignited the team in the first half, but what do you need to do better in the second half? Defense. Uh, we just got to do a better job defensively, including myself. Um, I got to lead the pack uh, defensively. I think when we do that, we're effective. And we're a great team on offense. Uh, when we move the ball and we share, we're a great team. Defensively, we got to tighten up a little bit, and we're going to do a better job of that in the second half. We will see, Victor. Thank you for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Shot clock at five. From the arc, it's not going to go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. I mean, there's still power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Young. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. Here's Moutier. And Embiid with the block. Moutier looking around. Shoots over Embiid. Embiid with the steal. And here we go. Holiday heading to the hoop. Good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists in the game. He's an explosive athletic guard. And I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. And stolen by Murray. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Count that one. And now it's just a four-point Dallas lead. And I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. Got a piece of it. Oladipo outside. Going inside. Look at that. And I love it whenever Oladipo gets tricky with it. Putting on a show for everyone with that one. Murray, the pass to Embiid. You just make your top shot. Embiid with a screen on Oladipo. Here's Moutier, and finished off by Oladipo. Boy, he gets great elevation for a player his size. Maybe we need to get Oladipo back in the dunk contest. Gordon up on top, defended by Bridges. Count that bucket. Gordon's got 13. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Larkin in a screen on Moutier. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Murray with the jam. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GM. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Here's Gordon, and he drives in. A constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. And let's take a look now at the numbers for DeJounte Murray. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about 11 points a game, six rebounds and four assists. And you, you like what he brings backing up the point guard. Yeah, no doubt. He knows how to run this offense. Tremendous asset to the team come off the field. They grab their own miss. Moore with the block. And he recovers it. Scooped up. Gafford misses. Rockets trail by eight. And it's Mur oh, nice. oh, Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. 
Here's Moutier, the 15-footer. Good. Six points for him. Great work to find the space to get off the open jumper. He's going to work hard for those. Markkinen. Wow, way off on that one. Clarkson looking for an opening. With two seconds left, and that's two points on the layup. And now it's a 10-point Maverick lead. You see the poise developing in Clarkson. He makes a nice choice. Whoa! Oh, he gets it off before the oh, How about that? Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. Down low, and Toppin throws it down. Oh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And Oladipo kicks to Rubio. Clarkson on the wing. Defended by Bridges. Gasol. And Embiid with the block. Here's Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Here's Clarkson. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. But not his best day from three-point range. I mean, just one in the first half and still looking for his first here in half number two. Pass to Clarkson. Shoots it up. Dallas, no good that time either. For Houston, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. They almost left it until too late. Now it's anybody's game. Aldridge with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. Lock at six. More against Clarkson. Rubio with a wide open look. Nailed from three point land. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Oladipo finds Gasol. And that one goes long. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. For three, Bridges. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Outside, marking it. Gordon against Howard. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Here's MB. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, talk. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. And Markkinen throws it down. And that's just fundamentals. I mean, Markkinen possesses fundamentals that are impressive. He understands how to use the pick and roll to his advantage. Stolen by Markkinen. Embiid drives in. And Embiid throws it down. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Uh, in perfect timing, uh, with a small lead, uh, they're doing all they can to protect it. To the inside. Outside for Gasol. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. Terrific off the catch. I mean, Gasol right into the shoot. And stolen by Gordon. Rubio finds Oladipo. 44 seconds left in the game. Here's Aldridge. Over Markkinen. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has and what it takes to come down, through down. in the clutch. That's the only Holiday. Good! Oh, a nifty 
finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Can't waste any time here. Well, you're right. They desperately need a bucket in every second matter. Eight seconds separating the two clocks. Good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Upping his three-point game over the years. Gasol has adjusted well to how the game is played. And Joe Markinen will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Crucial play defensively there. He had an understanding of what the situation was and just went for it. Passes to Aldridge. Shoots over Bridges. It's good! And that was so clutch. I mean, they're in front by the slimmest of margins in need of a stop right here. There's 10 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's MB for the win. It's good. There is the game winning shot. All zeros on the clock as he drains the game winner. A hero's finish. I'm going to have to carry him off on their shoulders for that one. And so it's a narrow victory for Houston, pulling it out for the double. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Giroux, congrats on the win. Everything seemed to start working in the second half. What changed for you? Um, I think we just picked it up in the fourth quarter. I mean, uh, they were kind of there the whole time, but in the fourth quarter, we really, uh, you know, rev it up. Great to see you back on the court, Giroux. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. I, uh, yeah. Fa, fa. I'm on the road to glory. Huh? I'm on the road to glory high. I'm on the road to glory. <laughs>